Hello friends today we are going to discuss about an earthquake. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is the shaking of the surface of the earth which results in a sudden release of energy in the earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. An earthquake takes place in lithosphere and it consists of various plates and these plates keep on moving when these plates get dashed with each other then the force is created which later it creates a crack in an earth crust. Earthquakes are caused mostly by rupture of geological faults but also by other events such as volcanic activity, landslides, mine blasts, and nuclear tests. There are three main types of faults, now what are faults? A fault is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. Faults allow the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement may occur rapidly, in the form of an earthquake, or may occur slowly, in the form of creep. Faults may range in length from a few millimeters to thousands of kilometers. Most faults produce repeated displacements over geologic time. During an earthquake, the rock on one side of the fault suddenly slips with respect to the other. The fault surface can be horizontal or vertical or some arbitrary angle in between. Types of fault are A strike slip B normal C reverse. Normal fault, normal faults form when the hanging wall drops down. The forces that create normal faults are pulling the sides apart, or extensional. Reserve fault, form where the hanging wall moves up. The forces creating reverse faults are compression, pushing the sides together. Transcurrent or strike-slip faults, have walls that move sideways, not up or down. Now you must be wondering what the relationship between earthquake and faults are. Earthquakes occur on strike-slip faults, normal earthquakes occur on normal faults, and thrust earthquakes occur on thrust or reverse faults. When an earthquake occurs on one of these faults, the rock on one side of the fault slips with respect to the other. The fault surface can be vertical, horizontal, or at some angle to the surface of the earth. The slip direction can also be at any angle. When earthquake occur the force or waves are created from the focus point that the center of the earth, which these waves move in all the directions. These waves are called P waves and S waves. P stands for primary waves and S stands for secondary waves. Primary waves can travel through solid, liquid and gases, whereas secondary waves can travel through only solid. P waves are received first on the seismograph and secondary waves come after a little time lag. P waves travel in parallel direction to the wave whereas S waves they vibrate in perpendicular to the direction of the wave. Thank you for watching like, share and subscribe.